patients. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I'm bringing to you one of my favorite things, and that's a quick and easy dessert. I'm not gonna lie, I've got a sweet tooth, and I love desserts. It is one of those things that I indulge in every now and again because I love desserts. I can't help it. I think I got my sweet tooth from my mom because my mom was definitely one of those people who could eat the icing off the cake and not eat the cake itself. No joke, my sweet tooth isn't that bad, but I do have one. So one of my favorite things to do is definitely make a quick and easy dessert that the kids and I can enjoy. I love to bring them to you, you all seem to be liking them, and so today I'm going to be showing you just how easily you can make a pumpkin cheesecake, but it's not just any pumpkin cheesecake because it's a no-bake one. So that means it's a no-brainer. We can't mess it up because there's no baking involved. I can't wait to show you just how quick and easy this is and it tastes delicious. So I'm gonna quit my Gavin, let's jump into it, and let me show you just how easily you can make this delicious no-bake pumpkin cheesecake and it's gonna turn out perfectly. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in following me on this next new chapter of my life and all of the amazing paths that it takes me on, you can find the link to my blog in the description box below where I will be posting a new blog every Friday morning at 8 a.m. This is where I get personal because everything is personal, including this blog. For this recipe, you're gonna need one eight ounce package of cream cheese. Yep, I'm using the Great Value brand. Go cheap, why not? You're gonna need a can of 100% pure pumpkin, one of these smaller ones here. And of course, you gotta have some pumpkin spice. A half a cup of granulated sugar. Mm -hmm. And one of these eight ounce containers of whipped topping. We need a crust, a graham cracker crust, that is. Now let's throw this thing together. Did I tell you this really is kind of a dump and go type of dessert? You're gonna dump it in a bowl, you're gonna mix it, and it's pretty much done. We're gonna add our cream cheese block to the bowl, and along with that cream cheese, we're gonna go ahead and dump in our can of pumpkin. To that pumpkin mixture, yes, our half a cup of sugar, and our full eight ounce container of whipped topping. This isn't even mixed and it looks amazing. To this, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice. Yes, guess what, we're done. We're gonna get our mixer out and we are gonna mix this, get this working friendly, get it all blended nicely. Once it's blended nicely, I'm gonna give it a taste. Who doesn't do that? Yes, we all do that. I didn't double dip though. And just like that, we're gonna add this mixture to our graham cracker pie crust. And just like that, we're done. In under five minutes, I'm gonna replace the lid, pop this in the fridge for three to four hours or overnight so it gets that cheesecake consistency. Alrighty, it is the next morning. Cheesecake is officially done. Ta da! Oh my goodness, looks amazing. Oh yeah, consistency is definitely that of a cheesecake. I'm gonna top mine off with, yes, some whipped cream. Oh my goodness, amazing. Yes, please. Cheesecake all the way around.
Who is today's KB Creations crafters of the day? The first one's going out to Renee Workman, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY table runner made out of those amazing maple leaves that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And we've also got Kathy here, who has also made a table runner. She's put it on her fireplace. I am loving it. Thank you both so much for sharing your recreations with us today. I can't wait for you to try this. I love hearing how you all try my recipes and you let me know in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed today's quick and easy no-bake pumpkin cheesecake. Yum! Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these quick and easy recipe ideas, make sure to leave me a comment in the comments below because guess what? I go off of your feedback. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up like I said. And let's get... No. I hope you all enjoy today's quick and easy no-bake pumpkin cheesecake. Yum! Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and the comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy cooking in your kitchen, happy baking in your kitchen. Stay happy, stay safe, stay positive. No. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy cooking in your kitchen. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please. And bye for now.